Right, hello, it's your boy, Titanic underscore 198. Today I'm bringing you an F123 beginner's guide, just to introduce any new players to the game and give them a couple of pointers of what they could do. So we're just going to get straight into today's video. As you see, I hit into the back of Piastri. That's something you don't want to be doing. But to start off, we're going to go into camera settings. First of all, the one I am currently using is, I believe it's Marcel Kiefer's, TV pod and now that will be on your screen copy those screenshot pause the video whatever you need to do and get those onto your game if you want to use them he's an um, ex Red Bull esports driver currently brand from Mercedes esports and he's quite a good driver so if you want to use that you can use that but you can also change him slightly to help with how you want to see the game now I'm going to put onto your screen Jan Artney one of the biggest names in the F1 game he uses TV pod offset in a different configuration, so I'm going to put that onto your screen now. He uses this because he wants to be able to see his delta on his steering wheel, and also because he wants to just focus on the driving. Obviously, he's won two F1 esports titles, and he's gunning for his third this year, so it might be a good idea to just use that. So now we're going to get onto the assists that you guys should be using. So I should be putting a set of an assists on your screen right now but just a couple of pointers. Personally I would be heavily heavily against using steering assist as for me personally it makes the game feel like you don't need any skill. But if you feel like you need to use it obviously then copy the template that's on the screen change it if you need to don't run full braking, you don't need to. Strategy control you can put down to m medium because it's not too difficult this year. Now we're going to get on to finding your AI level. Now finding your AI level might seem like a daunting task, but it's really not, trust me. It's one thing that you can do, that it's easy. Pick a track that's relatively balanced. Do a short qualifying. The tracks I suggest Spain. That's the one I personally have always used. Put the AI to a benchmark, whether that be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, something like that. And the rule is for every second difference between you and an AI is one set of ten AI levels. But one big thing for this, make sure it's I don't know, I've not done it this game, but last game you needed to have it just as your teammate you compare to, because obviously I don't think you could use equal cars or I didn't. So if you're using equal cars, I'd say still compare to your teammate, but I suggest just using unequal cars, picking a car, whether it be Red Bull, compare yourself to your teammate in that one lap. Now a difference. So let's say you're Matt Stappen and your teammate Sergio Perez. You go 1.8 seconds faster in qualifying. You move your AI level 18 seconds off, and you redo it, and then you're neck and neck in qualifying. That's obviously okay, the way you want to do it. And now we're going to look just into the realm of online racing. So there's two ways you can go down. First of which is going to be just playing online for fun, not wanting to get out anything like winning competitive races or high ranks in the rank mode you just want to play have a bit of fun with randoms or your friends so you just do some open lobbies with random people or your friends you know no competitive there might be some competitive spirit but it's not ranked and rated in any sort of way and now if you want to play competitively you want to aim for esports if you're quick enough you probably won't I'm not going to lie to you but you can either play ranked if you don't feel like same time, same day every week in a league. If you want to do ranked, there'll be free circuits a week in a multiplayer car. Obviously nowadays there's a lot of actual F1 team special liveries in the multiplayer car option, so you can just use one of those. But ranked is going to give you players of your similar skill level and safety level, or whatever they call it, license, in a lobby. But also in a league, I may leave a link below to a Facebook group and 
leaguefinder.com or something like that. They'll be in the description. If they're not there, just search F1 League Finder. There'll probably be a subreddit in the link below as well. Now, rounding to my final point is you don't want to play online, or you maybe can't play online, maybe you don't have connection to the internet, or a fast enough one. Then at that point, you just play career mode. You might think normal career mode boring. So, you want to spice it up a little? So, I've got an abundance of ideas that I can give. I'm jump Discord, it'll be in the link below, just ask me. But then you've got, I'm going to give you three paths. Number one path is to start in F2, do the full F2 season, and just make it as realistic as possible. There's one option. Second option is just my team, your name racing, any name racing you want, and just work from, you can pick from any of them, I recommend Newcomer, it just gives you a bit more reward. And just pick your livery, pick your second driver. The third option is revive an old Formula One team. Whether that is Sauber, even though Sauber are technically still in the sport, um, Lotus, Renault, or even make one of the future teams like Audi. You could also make a concept team like Porsche or whoever. And then uh, I'm going to add a fourth option, which is just play a career mode at you against the Formula 1 world and see where you go. Well anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've watched all this way. There's some videos on your screen, pick one, you might like them. Well, hopefully you do. Subscribe if you have not already, like, comment if I missed anything. And I'll see you guys hopefully again soon. Bye bye.